Welcome back to Jebel Ali. In this tutorial we are going to carry on with our artistic design tools in Scratch. But this time, instead of creating a backdrop for our stage, like we did in the last tutorial where we created the racetrack, we are going to create a sprite. And this sprite is going to be the race car that drives around our track. Okay, so we will be concentrating today on the sprite section down here. Okay, so we'll be looking at the sprites down here rather than the stage. Okay, so first thing we need to do is we're going to delete the poor old cat. So we can drag our sprite around our stage just like that. But we don't want a cat in our race game. So we're going to click on the waste bin to delete our sprite. Okay, next we are going to create our new sprite. So what we need to do is click on the icon down here. I'm just going to zoom in there so you know exactly which one you're going to click on. So you're clicking on it looks like a cat with a cross or a plus sign in the corner. So you click on there and we're going to move to the paintbrush icon. And that will take us to the design section of our scratch area. Okay, now just remember you've got the zoom tool here. You can zoom out and this is the area that we're going to draw our car on and we can also zoom in zoom out or click on the equal sign and that will fit this area perfectly into this rectangle okay just let me zoom out a little bit now if you remember from last session we looked at creating our racetrack using the bitmap tool the bitmap tool if you remember what a bitmap image is it's an image made up of tiny little dots and that's a bit like a, a painting whereas what we're going to use today we're going to use the vector tool now a vector tool is made of sh um, shapes and lines and fills and at the moment it says convert to bitmap and that tells me that i'm already on the vector tool so i don't have to click on anything so just let me zoom in there just to show you you should have it saying convert to bitmap so don't touch this just leave it as it is and you're ready to start creating your car now to begin creating your car i started with the rectangle tool the rectangle tool is down here now the rectangle has a fill and an outline at the moment my outline is set to um, transparent because it's got a red line through it and the thickness is zero now i'm going to change my outline to be a black color so i'm going to drag the brightness down to zero and that gives me a black color and I'm going to change the thickness of my line to around 30 points okay so that's like 30 dot, tiny dots wide on here so that's 30 points and my fill I'm going to choose what color car am I going to choose I'm going to choose a nice purple racing car Okay, so there's my purple. So I'll have a fill of purple and an outline of black. And my black line is 30 dots wide. Okay, so I'm going to start by drawing a rectangle. Oops, if you make a mistake, just click undo, undo again. Let's try that again. So I'm going to click and drag, and there is my rectangle. Okay, as you can see, it's drawn my sprite on my stage. Don't worry about the size at the moment. It's huge, and we'll change that later. Now, Importantly, this is very, very important. Let me just use the select tool. I use the select tool to drag my shape around. Can you see? I've got a cross in the middle of my canvas area, and I have a cross in the middle of the sprite. Now, it's it's important that these crosses meet like that. So it makes sure your sprite is in the middle of the canvas. That is really, really important. Okay. So there is my outline of my car. Now again. Using the select tool, you can just click on there, and if you're not happy with the color, you can change it. And the same with the outline, you can change the thickness if you want. And I'm going to keep mine like that. So that's the outline of my car. Next, I'm going to draw the roof of my car. The way I do that is use the rectangle again. So I'm just going to draw my car's pointing this way, by the way. So that's the front of my car. I'm going to draw a rectangle again on top. Um, that's my roof, that's my boot, and that's my bonnet. Now I'm going to now change my fill. I'm going to look for a nice yellow. You'll see now how. So just just reminding you that. Sorry, I didn't want that color to be there. This is looking above, up, down on top of your car. Okay. 
So I'm going to draw another rectangle. I'm going to change the color to yellow. So I'm going to make some orange. I'm going to make some light. So I'm going to put a light here. I'm going to have no outline. So there's one light. I'm just going to move that over here. I'm just going to stretch that. So that's one light. So notice I'm just using a fill, no outline. And to make it easier to move, you can use the zoom tool, again, which is down here. So if you're having trouble dragging something, you can do that. So I'm going to zoom in, then zoom out. I'm going to put one light there. And because I want them to be identical, I'm going to use copy and paste. And then I get another light. I'm going to drag that to there. And I can just zoom out again. Look, if that's all right. Put that there. So there's my lights. And I could, if I wanted to, to put red ones at the back. That's entirely up to you. So there's my car. And I'm going to put some wheels. Now, I'm going to use the rectangle. So remember, you're looking down on your image. So I'm going to choose black. The best way to get black is to change the brightness down to zero and you will always get black. So I'm going to draw a fill. Don't need outline, just my fill. There's one wheel. And now using the select tool, I can just move that into place. Now I want the same size wheels each time. So I'm going to copy and paste. There's the second wheel. Now, the good thing about copy and paste, once you've copied once, all you need to do is just click on paste and you'll get the same copied shape again. So there's my fourth, third wheel and there's my fourth wheel. So that is starting to look like a car. If you wanted, I could change the colour of my roof. Maybe I'll just fade that a little bit so it makes it stand out. And that's front of my car, back of my car. I mean... You could put red lights at the back if you want, like I've done here. And I think that's pretty good. That is looking like I'm looking down at the car. But obviously, it's absolutely massive. So you may want to change the size. Well, you'll need to change the size of your car. And the way you do that, you're going down here onto the sprite area. Now, what you must do is give your sprite a name. At the moment, mine's called Sprite 1. So where it says Sprite 1, I'm going to call mine Car. Okay. Then I'm going to click away. Next, change the size. All you need to do is change this number where it says size. At the moment, it's set to 100. So if I type in there 50, what do you think is going to happen to my car? Yeah. If you said it's going to be half the size, because 50 is half of 100, you are correct. So it goes down to 50. Now, I'm going to change that down again to 25. So that will be another half. Can you see? Now, let's try 10. And that's nearly there. So I'm going to go to about 7. That is looking pretty, pretty good. Now you can see, now I can drag my car around and place it on my track. So there is my car. So that's basically a costume. Okay, so we have, my sprite's called car. If you look on here, I've got costumes. And my first costume is called costume 1. OK, now what I do need is a second costume because we're going to have a costume that makes it look like the car's exploded. OK, so what we need to do, so I'm going to, where it says costume one, I'm going to write in there car again, same as the name of my sprite. Now, what you're going to do next, you're going to duplicate the first costume. So I'm going to right click and duplicate. Did you see what I did there? I'm just going to delete that costume again. I put my mouse over my first costume where it says car. I right click and duplicate. And I get two cars now, one and two. They look identical because they're identical because it's a copy. So where it says car two, I'm going to put car crashed. Okay, so that's my second costume. My first costume is called car. My second costume is called car crashed. And now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make my car look like it's crashed. OK, so all I'm going to do here, I'm just going to grab a rectangle. I'm going to put some oranges and red colours on there. Let's find oranges and reds. Yeah, there's a red. So I'm going to draw a rectangle. Maybe I'll remove the outline. So one, 
to I'm just going to do lots and lots of reds to look like it's on fire so there's my reds then I'll add I'll put some yellows in there too so it looks like it's on fire can you see it's starting to form because when you go onto the green as you're driving around your track that is when your car will explode so there's my exploded car can you see that there's my first um, costume and there's my second costume looking like it's exploded that's important when we crash we need to change it from car to car crashed okay so check first you've got your car in the sprite area then check that you've got a car crashed costume and remember the way you get a duplicate costume is to right click on your costume here and duplicate also make sure you've named your sprite and also named your costume one and your costume two and that is how you create a sprite in scratch and you add it to your stage okay I'll look forward to seeing your wonderful racing cars ready to start programming and driving around your race car. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Take care. See you soon.